Hey y'all, I'm Taryn with Store in the City. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, you're gonna see how I prepare my garden for a potential um, snowstorm, windstorm, wintry weather mix. I don't know what to call it. It's gonna be cold and potentially snowy and potentially ice. So we're just gonna see how I prepare for that. Now mind you, I'm not preparing the garden so that I can like protect plants that I'm trying to keep alive. I've essentially put most of my bed to rest. I've put most of the beds to rest and I've already taken up most of the plants in the raised beds because I've decided that I'm not really going to grow throughout the winter but I still want to protect the actual soil right and just cover that up so you're gonna see how I do that okay so this is what I'm starting with you can see that I just have a little bit of plants in my grow bags that I need to remove I'm not gonna re remove all of them because they are cold hardy but I'll remove most of them and then I'm going to remove these beautiful flowers here they're all going to die in the snowstorm so I might as well remove them and then cover them with the leaf mulch okay So now that I have removed most of the plants out of the grow bag and along the fence line, I'm going to put these leaves um, around the plants and or completely covering the soil. I'm just doing this because I want to protect the soil in the case that it is uh, freezing cold temperatures and in the case that um, there's ice. I don't want the, the soil to, you know, have to uh, de deal with those cold temperatures. So I'm going to put these leaves all around it. And these leaves just came from uh, my, my yard. They fell out of the neighbor's trees, my trees, and my dad and I put them in these bags. And now I'm just putting them in the garden. So you don't always have to go buy mulch. You can use leaves that fell in your yard and use them as mulch. Now this is something new for my dad and I. You can see in this raised bed, you can see a little bit of cardboard peeking out. That's because earlier in the week, my dad and I put down some cardboard on top of the soil because there are a lot of weeds in our raised beds, particularly this one. So we covered it with some cardboard. We had previously put some leaves on top of it, but we still had more left to cover. So that's what I'm doing here, just covering the rest of that. We're hoping that what the cardboard will hopefully do is that it will completely dissolve into the soil um, along with the leaves. And by the time spring slash summer gets here, um, we'll just be able to plant, you know, right in that, that uh, soil, right on top of the cardboard. So this is new for us. We've never done this before. Honestly, we're just trying something new. So we will see if it works or not.
this was interesting because apparently this is catnip and I promise you I had no idea that I had catnip in my garden but apparently I had a lot of it because it's taken over this little area of the fence line right here I went ahead and removed all of it because I don't need that much catnip mm-mm And that's it. That's what I have so far. Um, I basically just, you know, protected the garden by mulching it as well as I could and taking out most of the plants. I kept a few just to keep a few, but yeah, that's all I did. And the garden has officially put to sleep. She has put to rest and I'm finished. Okay, y'all, so that was the video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you got to learn a few things about how I put my garden to rest and how I protect it from the um, cold, wintry, snowy, potentially icy weather that we're going to get. And I'm just so excited about it. <laughs> Not. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, um, no matter what you're going through, remember, just keep sewing. And I will have another video out for you in the upcoming days. I'm going to do more recipe videos, you know. Now that I put my garden to sleep, I'm going to do more recipe videos for you guys. So I hope you like them. Okay, see you later. Bye.